Good morning, traders, and welcome to the opening of trade. I'm Zula. Before we get started, don't forget to first read and understand all disclosures found in links and text in the description of this video. Let's take a look at our current same account balance. All right, simulated the opening trade cash value of growth will match this red number after any automated or manual trades take place and realize will be after the fees are paid. Make sure you understand your fee schedule by your providers so that way you know what you're in for, right? Okay, let's take a look at the back test results. If you're able to, you can run um, a long back test. That's what's shown here. Start your end date, max drawdown, growth loss, and total net profit. Russell, start and end date, max drawdown, growth loss, total net profit. NASDAQ, start and end date, max drawdown, growth loss, and total net profit. S&P 500, start and end date, max drawdown, growth loss, and total net profit. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make sure that we're parked on our 30 minute candle and on the right account and the right strategy. So I'm going to flip through all the charts to make sure that that has been done. Alright, now let's look at what happened after we left yesterday. So here is the second. Through to today, and this is gold. Crude oil, yesterday, through to today. Russell, yesterday, through today. Dow Jones yesterday through today. Sitting right on the 200 period again. Gold's at the 200. Crude oil's below. Russell's slightly above. Dow's right at it. Let's look at NASDAQ slightly above yesterday through to today. S&P 500. Yesterday through today. We would like to thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Our systems are automated and they are live when enabled by the user. They run in the U.S. equity futures market. Free trials for the automated trading systems are on our website at theopeningtrade.com. We also now have indicator-driven discretionary or manual trading systems on our website. Don't forget to read and understand all associated risks listed on our website and in this video description. All right, let's take a look at the calendar. What is on the plate for today? So today... Um, at 8.15 Eastern Standard Time, the ADP non-farm employment change came out um, higher than forecasted. 9.45 Eastern Standard Time, the final services PMI will be coming out 10 a.m. The ISM services PMI will be coming out 10.30. Crude oil inventories will be coming out 2 p.m. We have... That's Eastern Standard Time. FOMC statement will come out. The federal funds rate will come out 2.30. The FOMC press conference to speak about the federal funds rate will come out 
And then tomorrow we're looking at the Challenger job cuts year over year, the unemployment claims, the prelim non-farm productivity quarter for quarter, prelim unit labor cost quarter for quarter, trade balance, natural gas storage, those all come out tomorrow. Friday, we're going to keep an eye out for the big reports of the average hourly earnings, month for month, non-farm non employment change and unemployment rate, and some more reports coming out, but we're looking out for those big ones. We have less than five minutes before we see uh, the New York market open. Gold edges down ahead of expected uh, hike for U.S. interest rates. Algoma Central Corporation reports quarterly loss per share of 51 cents. Bank of America Securities upgrades CNA Financial to neutral from underperform and adjusts the price target to $41 from $40. Carvana Company announces extension of private exchange offers and extension of early exchange premium. Canadian National Railway targets 10 to 15 percent earnings growth into 2026. RBC Capital adjusts the price target on Penumbra. Penumbra to 303 from 289 after quarter one earnings beat raised full year outlook and keeps the outperform rating. Can Accord Genuity adjust the price target on Argo blockchain to 145 from $1 maintains the hold rating. Physics X and Valer Vallejo 3D partner to provide engineers with artificial intelligence simulation tooling. RBC Capital adjusts the price target on one main holding to 50 from 53 and maintains the outperform rating. Romania's Luria raises $2 million in 11 venture-led funding rounds. Wealth Power Incorporated says, Entered into equity distribution agreement for common stock offering up to 2.53 billion. Bernstein upgrades Marriott International to outperform from market perform and raises the price target to $204 from $178. Brazilian Real expected to withstand the rate normalization. RBC Capital adjusts the price target on Mercury Systems to 45 from 54 after fiscal quarter 4 full year 2023 guidance cuts and maintains sector perform rating. Darden Restaurants is to acquire Ruth Hospitality Group for $715 million. Mitsubishi USG notes yen rebounds as risk escalates. We have less than a minute before we see the New York market open. Bright Green announces the launch of its EB5 website and program following the historic announcement of its federal registration and license approval from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. Pro Phase Labs Linebacker 1 Cancer Therapeutics shows promising mechanisms of action as 
both a monotherapy and a co-therapy in preclinical studies attacking range of hard-to-treat cancers, including lung and gastric cancers. All right, so uh, the New York market has opened. Um, so before I take any manual trades, which I only have gold or crude oil because the other four charts are set up to automatically trade. If the automatic trade indicator has been met for each chart at a certain time. So before I take any manual trades, I got to make sure, I like to make sure that the first candle has closed since the market, the New York session has opened. So that means that I won't take, I can't, I won't take my first potential trade until three minutes after the New York market has opened. And that is why my chart is set up on three minute candles. So well, if I'm below the 200 period EMA, I want to see all red. Um, and if I'm above this white dash line, which is the 200 period EMA, I want to see, um, if I'm above, I want to see all Red, and if I'm below, I want to see all green. So our first automated trade could take place as long as the automated trade indicator is met on the Dow Jones. Uh, six minutes after the New York Open happens. Two minutes after that, we could potentially see the Russell. Two minutes after that, as long as each chart indicator for each automated trade is met. We could see a trade on the NASDAQ and potentially one at the same time on the S&P 500. The great thing about our uh, automated trading strategies is their user-friendly options, um, so you can curbscale it to your game plan very easily, which is very nice. Best day lauder is to keep investing in beauty despite views for lower sales. And best day lauder stock sinks on guidance cut as Asia's retail rebound lags. Refile Algoma Central Brief Quarter One net loss increased marginally to 19.64 million compared to 19.571 last year in a basic loss per share of 51 cents compared to 52 cents last year in 2022. Camper Pulse reports results for first quarter of this year. TD Cowan adjusts the price target on First Watch Restaurant Group to 18 from 17 and maintains the park. Whoa, look at the uh, Dow. The candle just jumped down there. All right. Um, they adjust the price target on First Watch Restaurant Group to 18 from 17 to maintain the market perform rating. So we know that at 945 Eastern Standard Time, the final services PMI is going to be coming out in 15 minutes later. The ISM services PMI is going to come out. So the first candle he has closed. Um, if I'm above, I want to see all red indicators. I do not see that for gold, and it's very close. And if I'm below, I want to see all green. And um, here in crude oil, there's only two green. And we know at 10.30, the crude oil inventories, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, that would be, will be uh, released. So we'll, we'll wait and see what happens there. So our first automated trade, as long as the automated trade indicators, will take place in less than two minutes, and it will be on the Dow Jones uh, futures markets, as long as the automated trade indicator has been taken place and has been met. We would like to thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it.
Wall Street opened higher ahead of the Fed decision. Uh, U.S. private payrolls increased solidly and wage growth cooled. Barrett adjusts the price target on ESAD to 70 from 68 to maintain the outperform rating. Okay, so the Dow is making a strong move down right now. Um, Barrett adjusts the price target on Terex to 50 from 47 to maintain the neutral rating. RxO's quarter one adjusted earnings revenue fall, and the board authorized a $125 million stock buyback claim. Piper Sandler raises the Com Vault system's price target to 65 from 60 and maintains a neutral rating. The Toronto Stock Exchange fell at the open today. We have less than a minute before our first automated trade. Order submitted. And there we go. It fired off. Um, the automated trade indicator was met. So we're going to let it do its thing. Centra Health is to distribute $5 million in grants through the Equity and Advancement Fund. Heister introduced forklift stability control system to help support safety initiatives and adherence to best practices. Lat AM political economic calendar is ahead. Michael Bowen joins risk strategies as the vice president. And Qualcomm second quarter earnings revenue set to fall, and that is the earnings preview. Sun Power swings to adjusted loss in quarter one, fiscal 2023 revenue rises and shares fall three bells. Allegiant Travel rises earnings outlook for this year. What's happening in our other charts? Here is S&P 500 futures, of course. NASDAQ futures, of course. Russell, is our next automated trade to potentially take place as long as the automated trade indicator has been met? And that will be in less than a minute. Crude oil and gold. So let's leave it on the Russell so we can see if it takes its automated trade. Let's refresh our calendar. We have 7 minutes and 10 seconds before the final services. PMI is uh, the numbers come out. Um, and 15 Order minutes. Order submitted. There we go. So the Russell met the automated trade indicator. It needed to and it fired off into an automated trade, which is fantastic. So I didn't have to and I could be looking at the calendar, reading the news, talking to you guys. All right, so let's take a look at uh, crude oil. So for crude oil, I want to see a green candle, a green worm one, and a green worm two. That's step two and step three. Um, I want to see all green below the 200 period EMA before I take a manual trade. Um, so we'll see if it if it ever meets those uh automatic uh manual trade indicators while we're here. If it doesn't, that's okay. We'll always be here tomorrow. All right. So uh, this is gold. This is crude oil. Here's our Russell in an automated trade. The Dow's in an automated trade, and we have less than a minute before we could potentially see Nasdaq and S and P fire off. As long as each individual chart indicator has been met. Centra, nope, we're at that. Malibu both says demand environmental still uncertain. Uh, Bank of America Securities upgrades COD, COGENT. Communications holdings to buy from underperforming adjust the price target to 85 from 45. Matterons 
quarter one adjusted earnings rise, sales decline, and increases this year's adjusted EPS outlook. Nasdaq did not need its automated trade indicator to fire off, and neither did the S&P 500. That's okay. We're still in an automated trade in two charts, Dow Jones and Russell 2000 futures. Crude oil, the indicators are not there for me to take a manual trade, nor are they there in gold. This is not surprising considering the things that are going to come out in the next hour. We have less than five minutes before we see the final services, EMI, and then 15 minutes later, the ISM services, EMI, and then half an hour later, we got crude oil inventories in this afternoon, the FOMC statement, the federal funds rate, and then that will all be concluded by an FOMC press conference. So... A lot of information will be coming out today, um, and we will see how it affects the market. All right, so Russell's doing pretty good here. It's climbing. It's, uh, you know, that's good. Um, the Dow is... The Dow is uh, struggling, but it's still hanging in there. You know, that's good. Uh, gold, crude oil, NASDAQ. NASDAQ is an open candle, a very large open candle, and it's hitting the 200 period EMA and drawing under. S&P 500 is still below the 200 period EMA. Look at our Dow. Our Dow is holding on pretty good right now. And the Russell is still, uh, still making it uh, slow, but good climb right here, hopefully. All right, so we know it's two minutes and 30 seconds before the final services EMI. Let's take a news refresh here. Uh, Hawkins Incorporating is to release the fourth quarter and fiscal 2023 financial results on May 17 this year. So everyone's adjusting their price targets, so let's talk more about price targets. Darren adjusts the price target on a GCO to 189 from 185 and maintains the outperform rating. RBC Capital um, adjusts the price page. The price target on Sage Therapeutics to 63 from 60 to maintain the outperform rating. They also adjusted the price target on Restaurant Brand International to 84 from 81 to maintain the outperform uh, rating. Piper Sandler has adjusted the price target on Paycom Software to 399 from 417 to maintain the out the overweight rating. And they adjusted the price target on Sprout Social to 56 from 78 to maintain the overweight rating. Um, Navira raises $50 million in a Series C funding led by Battery Ventures. Um, Three-month T-bill rate touches highest level since January 2001 on the debt ceiling worries. And Sega Communications Incorporated reports first quarter 2020 first quarter 2023 results. Okay, so we know it's seconds before we got 17 seconds before the final services PMI number comes out. So let's take a look where we are. We got 10 seconds. 
We're underwater here in the Dow of Little. Russell's uh, doing okay. And two, one, numbers are dropping. Let's see. Hopefully, they are good numbers. Just waiting for it. It's flashing. It's flashing. Okay. Take a look. Apparently, gonna take a minute before it gives me that number. Okay, and it came out point one less than expected. The, it, the forecast was fifty three point seven, and it came out at fifty three point six. So. That, what does that mean? That means that uh, we're very curious as to in 14 minutes from now when the ISM services PMI comes out, what is going to happen at that time? Let's see what happened now as people are digesting the fact that the final services PMI was very, very close to what was forecasted. I mean, if it was any closer, it would have been exact, right? Okay, so the Russell likes that news so far. Uh, the Dow is doing the Dow thing. Uh, so crude oil. So we're below the 200 period EMA and we first got our first all red indicators. So now we got to make up our minds if we're going to take a manual trade. So let's think about this for a second. Um, there's no manual trades viable of a getting the froggy hoping for a manual trade, but they are not there at this time with further examination. So our Russell automated trade is doing very well. Um, if you see this little blue arrow, that's like the candle we got in on. And right here at the crosshairs is right where we got in our trade, and it's been stacking green candles, which is great. We want to go up to this aqua blue, teal line, whatever color it shows up. The one up here that says one cell LCM. Okay, so what is our Dow doing? Dow's doing really good. Uh, we also want it, so you see this blue arrow, that means that's the candle we got in on our trade. And it, this cross here is exactly where we went in on the trade. And it's doing well at this time, and we want it to go up here to the one cell LCM line, the blue teal Aqua line, whatever color it is for you. So, NASDAQ, what is happening in the NASDAQ? So, we see that the NASDAQ is uh, moving here. We see that the SP 500 is still moving around. Everybody is digesting uh, the reports that came out today. The ADP non farm employment change has been released this morning. Um, and it was much higher than forecasted. Um, the final services PMI came out almost exactly as forecasted. 
And uh, we know that uh, we have the uh, ISM services PMI coming out in 11 minutes. Another, oh wow, if you're looking at Russell, Russell's where you want to be right now. It tapped up to 440, we saw that there. So I'm going to manage my stop loss. So I need to go to my strategy, disable my Russell strategy, grab my stop loss, and put it just above a uh, break even. So even if it turns around and comes down, it will be a winner no matter what. It might not be a very big winner. Um, but at least it won't be a loss. And, uh, you know, that is always fantastic. And you see that, uh, okay, so the Russell is doing well. So what's happening? Ooh, and the, uh, the Dow Jones finally, we're seeing 240 right now. 250, this is uh, very 260. Okay, so in Ninja Trader, I'm going to disable my Dow strategy and I'm going to grab my stop loss and I'm going to put it right above where I got in. So no matter what, if it turns around and comes down to my red bar, it will still be uh, a win, not a loss. Um, every day, uh, you know, what's happening in the market helps me decide how I will manage my stop loss on my automated trades. And the thing that you have to do, which is most important, is be comfortable with the choices you make. First thing in the morning, you got to make sure you're comfortable with those choices. You don't want to live with that regret all day. No regret. All right, so we see that the Dow is doing fantastic. What's that mean for the Russell? That means the Russell's doing even better. So we see here 530. Okay, so 540, 560. We're seeing 400, 405 in the Dow. So everybody's doing really good right now. And we know that we have 7 minutes and 14 seconds before the ISM services. PMI comes out. So we're going to go ahead and close. Order filled. Um, so that way we don't get caught up in market Order kablooey. Filled. Even though I manually closed those automated trades and we're up $915, what's going to happen right now is we're going to set uh, the Russell and the Dow um, to automatically go back into a trade if the charts get higher. So that way we don't lose any, um, any good movement in the market we are trying to obtain all the good movement in the market so that's what we're doing here that's what uh this process is. order submitted and so what happened is we set a parameter for it and said hey if it gets to this price do a trade and that's exactly what it did when it said order submitted so now here we see so here we're going to do the buy stop market and we're going to do one at a certain price and because it's above the recent uh, price high so and we have five minutes and 32 seconds before the next report has, um, is released in the economic calendar right so let's take a look at the Russell so right now just off of our automated trades, 
we're up $915. So let me grab my uh, control center from Ninja Trader. I pulled it over. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see it though. Okay, yep, you can see it. So 915 matches the 915 here. And the realized is after we pay the fees for those automated trades. So that's just where we are currently. We have both the Russell and the Dow set up um, to maximize any more potential growth that would be beneficial to us in the mark in these two markets, right? So here I'm just going to zoom in these charts a little bit so we can see better what is happening in them. So here we have currently the S&P 500. It is above the 200 period EMA. Then we have the NASDAQ. Then we have the Dow. The Russell. Crude oil. Um, there is no manual trade at this time. It's still making its pull away from the 200 period EMA. And gold is very too close to the 200 period EMA. So this little blue arrow is where our automated trade got in. And this little purple arrow is where I hit the close button. And you see that uh, ideally I would have liked to hit it at the top of this wick of the candle. But due to the uh, I'm healing from a broken hand, I was a little slow. And there was a little bit of lag between monitor, monitor, and then to the computer, then to the internet. But we're still very happy with the outcome. Um, you know, you got to make sure that you understand how your system runs. Because if you're trying to do something quickly and you don't know if there's a little bit of a, a lag in your system, then uh, that could really mess you up. So again, that's part of being an informed trader is just making sure that you understand how the process goes, what you can expect from the process, and making sure that you have everything set up so that way your game plan runs, you know, very fluent in the way you would like it to go, right? Okay, so we know we have 2 minutes and 26 seconds before that report comes out, and we have our Russell set up, and we have our uh, Dow Jones Futures set up. Um, so, those are set up to do uh, their own thing in case the you know, the market changes to to those parameters, then we can maximize, um, you know, out of, we can get the most out of those markets with the parameters that they get met. Okay, so let's take a look. This is Dow. Here's Russell, crude oil, gold. Um, we have a minute and some 11 seconds. So let's take a look in the news. Aritza is down 19%. Red rated as buy at Stifle GMP after quarter one results and price target slash to Canadian fifty dollars on rising costs. Amazon Pet Day is here. Chewy and Petco have their own deals too. That's just like an ad. That's horrible. All right, so Barclays adjust. Price target on Pfizer to 40 from 43 and maintains the equal rate rating. The Brazilian equities are on cautious trading. Um, Algorand Central reports 
quarter one lost higher revenue and provides outlook flash earnings flash um, from Neurocrine Biosciences, their ticker is NBIX, reports quarter one revenue of 420.4 million versus street estimate of 409.1 million. So they came out, uh, you know, 11.3 million uh, higher. So, I mean, that's that's fantastic for them, right? Okay, so that's uh, the report is in, and the ISM services PMI came out 0.1 higher than expected. So the forecast was 51.8, and it came out at 51.9. So, what's that going to do for the market? So, the market. That report is out, and the markets are reacting um pretty favorable to that report. So sometimes no news is good news, and when numbers come out very close to expected as the last two reports did, um, that's real, you know, that doesn't shake things up, so that's good. Let's take a look at our Russell. So the Russell is still, um, Uh, particularly on the Russell. So um, I'm glad I hit close when I did, so I didn't um, have to suffer through the market pullback. But we want to be uh, present here for our our orders, our buy our buy orders that we had set up. So we want to be present in case the um, those take place and uh, we want to give them the opportunity you know to do that so what do we know we know that at 10 30 eastern standard time in 28 minutes the crude oil inventories is going to come out so what's crude oil doing right now right now we're still no manual trade gold no gold's right there um Straddling that 200 period EMA, I don't like to do any trades manually when it's so close to the 200 period EMA. I know that my uh, current setup system has a little bit of a leg, and when you're doing manual trading, uh, that could hurt you. So, you know, best to be informed and to make sure that you know what's going on with your system and how everything will run. Here's NASDAQ Futures S&P. 500. So it looked like the Russell was coming back, and uh, we we hope it does. Then our um, buy stop orders will uh, take off. But if it doesn't come back, then we won't see them take off. And that's just you know can't control the markets. If we could. You know, that would be fantastic, but you can't. So, you do the best, and you learn the most, right? Okay, let's see. Bank of America Securities downgrades advanced micro devices to neutral from buy. Barclays adjusts the price target on NXT semiconductors to 170 from 160, maintains the equal weight rating. Apollo Global Management seeks to acquire majority stake SAS as part of a restructuring plan. U.S. Services PMI revised slightly down but remains strongest in the year. 
So, again, no new news. You know, no news can be good news. Um, that one came out right at just almost exactly as forecasted. So, that, uh, you know, helps out the day. So, Bank of America Securities downgrades Claris to neutral for buying adjust the price target from $10 from 12 Starbucks serving up a strong earnings report. I don't drink coffee, so Starbucks isn't in my wheelhouse. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, you got that one. Okay, Barclays adjusts the price target on Lodge Tech International to 71 from 60 and maintains the overweight rating. Wells Fargo adjusts the price target on Clorox to 150 from 145 and maintains the underweight rating. Wolf Research upgrades Prosperity Bank shares to outperform from underperform and the price target is now $68. We'll see if we can get a news refresh here. All right. Canadian shares hold losses on today, which is Wednesday. Loeb loss shares slide 3.4% on lower first quarter profit in the revenue miss. Rumo tariffs key to first quarter earnings. Imex Biopharm announces positive interim data in early to mid stage cancer drug trial. So that's awesome. All right, gold holds ground with the Fed rate verdict in sight. So let's look at the gold. Yup. Crude oil, yup. Russell, Russell is really struggling. We see that here with that uh, red candle. Um, but maybe I'll find the support it needs. Here we have the Dow Jones futures. Um, here we have Nasdaq and S and P five hundred. The annual P A compensation continues to rise annual PA compensation continues rising and increases 4.3% over 2021. Oh, let's look at our thingies. There we go. Because Russell is the one that is most interesting to me at this time. All right, Bernstein adjusts the price target on Zimmer Biomet Holdings from 152 from 136 and maintains the market perform rating. AI Media unveils AI-driven Lexi 3.0, the future of live automatic captioning. captioning. Indiana Health Centers expanding access to NAC Nioxone. I know I'm saying this wrong. It's the uh, Narcan. They're talking about Narcan, the thing that saves you from drug overdose. So the Indiana Health Centers expanding access to Narcan at 17 locations because my tongue doesn't want to say the real word. All right, JMP Securities adjust the price target on Aries commercial real estate to 11 from 1350 and maintains the market outperform rating. So, Stohana um, adjusts the price target on by V, via V, via V Solutions to 12 from 14 and maintains the positive rating. Uh, Doug Chiang. I'm sure I've butchered that of Lucas film named this year's CCS commencement speaker. Crude oil inventories will come out in 21 minutes. So 
We see that crude oil is trying to make its way back to the 200 period EMA. Maybe that has something to do with the fact that the crude oil inventories is coming out in 21 less minutes. But, you know. Potential. S.A. Lauder says strong dollar hurt the third quarter sales. Um, they are over there crying. All right. CD Group adjusts the price target on NXT semiconductors to 175 from 180 and maintains a neutral rating. Bank of America Securities upgrades Zimmer Biomet Holdings to neutral from underperform and adjusts the price target to 168 from 120. Alex Ice Cream Du mm? Alex Ice Cream Dubay's nationally in Whole Foods market in time for summer. So some kind of new organic ice cream at Whole Foods. Okay. April ISM U.S. Services Index, um, we went over that, thank you, we don't need that. Okay, Cancer Fitzgerald adjusts, adjusts the price target on Pacific Biosciences of California to 13 from 12 to maintain the neutral rating. American Airlines is to webcast annual meeting of the stockholders. Uh, Cyrus MD named a 2023 award winner in the Denver Post State of the Colorado Top Places to Work. Demand Science earns 2023 Great Place to Work Certification. New Probe BDA technology enables highly sensitive detection of low-level variants for oncology research. Yeah, go find it. Georgia MLS launches first phase of AI automation with Resty.ai. SEC is set to arm investors with daily stock buyback data. So that's, uh, that's coming. Uh, Verizon continues to partner with HBCUSs, HISs, and community colleges to bring STEM learning to youth. U.S. output growth accelerates to 11 month high. H.C. Wainwright adjusts the price target on MyMedx My Group to $9.50 from $8 and maintains the buy rating. Allegiant Travel swings to quarter one adjusted earnings as operating revenue rises in 2023. Airline only earnings guidance was lifted. Boeing supplier Spirit Aerosystems is too big to fail. Ooh, I don't know if I'd be. I don't know if I'd claim that. You never say never, right? <laughs> All right, BTIG assumes top build at neutral. They also installed building products at assumes installed building products at neutral. Uh, gold is inching higher as traders away the Fed rate hike. Really? Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it sure is. It wiggled up a little bit. Okay, Russell. Russell and the Dow, I don't know if they'll be making it uh, to my buy orders, my buy stop orders. So... We will see what happens here. Airbnb is to offer installment option in the U.S. and Canada. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes.
up with a buy stop market and we want to give them the chance to uh, do their thing. So we're going to leave our chart on hmm, the Russell, I suppose, and we'll be back in a while to see what our buy, uh, buy stop market orders did. Um, so that's where we're at at this time, and we'll be back in a little bit to see what's happened. Also, we know that in 15 minutes, the crude oil inventories come out, and we're going to see what happens to the market at that time. Okay, so we'll be back, and we're going to leave this uh, Russell chart up for to watch to see if the the order fires off.
Russell still hasn't done its by nor has Dow. Let's see what's on the So crude oil inventories came out um way different than forecasted, but that is a good thing. So that being a good thing, here we go. Let's look. All right, so we'll be back in a while to check on this Russell and Dow to see what happens.
Great. It looks like they're not going to make it up to our buy stop order. So that will be it for today. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Check out our free trials to automated trading systems on our website at openingtrade.com. And we also have indicator driven discretionary or manual trading systems on there as well. Don't forget to read and understand all associated links listed on our website and in this video description. So let's look at our final standard account balance. 915 natural safety 915 gotta pay your fees for your trades so make sure you understand your fee schedule and we'll be here tomorrow to see how the markets fare have a great day